Hello everyone, this is Armstrong Designs here again. Um, this is for another quick Photoshop tutorial. What we are going to do right now is we were just going to um, change the eye color. And uh, I know I've done um, one in an earlier tutorial, but uh, this way is just much more efficient and it's much, uh, much cleaner. So uh, we're going to get started here. And as always, you're going to drag your background layer to a new layer. And then what we are going to do here is we are going to go over here. It's the third, um, third uh, tool, and it is the magnetic lasso. You might see the lasso. Um, just click and hold and go down to the magnetic lasso. And what you're going to do is here's my photo here. You are going to zoom in on the eye. And when you do this, it will make it much easier to use the magnetic lasso. And what you're going to start doing is just click and hold and start dragging all the way around the eye. And this is going to be making a selection so that you can select the eye and change the color of it. So once you've done that, it should look like that. It should have the ant trail selected. And um, after you have your eye selected, you are going to go over to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. You can also click Control M. All right, so this is what we got right now. And what I want you to do is under Channel, go over to Blue, and just move Blue up just a little bit. We're gonna want we're gonna make this eye blue. So we'll move it like that. Then under Channel, go to Green. We were gonna use a little less, a little bit more green. And under Red, we are gonna use a little less red and you can feel free to play around with this um, to see how you like it depends what you wanna what color you wanna make the eye um, but feel free to play around um, this looks good here Okay. so first we're just gonna zoom out and see the difference you can uh, deselect that now so as you can already see there's a big difference between the before and the after Okay, now what we're going to do to make this even better, um, zoom back in, open a new layer, and then get this um, circle tool, the ellipse mark tool. And what you're going to do is you're going to redo the pupil. And so you're going to just make a circle like that. Then with a black color, you are just going to fill. And deselect, and you'll Rest, you're left with that. Now open one more new layer and we are gonna redo the glare now. So just make it a little bit smaller like that. Use a white color, the paint bucket, and fill that in. Now move that over to here. And there you have your eye. And then there you have it right there. Looks much better. Now, if you want to, uh, like we did in the last one, to make it look a little bit better, go over to your burn and dodge tool. Um, for dodging, I normally do the dodge on the inside of the eye, like this. And then I go down to the dodge, or the burn tool, sorry, and I burn on the outside of the eye, like this. You can always do a little in between up to you. Just play with it until you feel it is right. Um, so that is it for now. As you can see, you can look at the before and the after. And the eye is much better. Um, I, I love this method. It's much easier and uh, you always get the effect that you want. So uh, I hope this helped everyone. Um, thanks for watching again. Please feel free to rate, subscribe, and comment. Um, if you want to request a tutorial, please do that. And uh, thank you once again, and this is Armstrong Designs. Have a good night.